Hey guys, this is Amber again, and today I'm coming back at you with a new video for today. And today's video is going to be about an item that I consider one of my most used SLGs in my collection. The item that I'm going to be talking about today is the Louis Vuitton six key holder, and my six key holder is actually in the Monofuchsia print. Now, when I originally purchased this item, I originally purchased it back in January 2014, so it's coming up on two years since I've actually had this particular item. Now, for those of you guys that are interested in the six key holder, they come in quite a few different prints. They come with different color interiors for you to choose from, and then you can also personalize it by getting it hot stamped in the inside of your item. The particular one that I'm talking about today is the Mono Fuchsia, and what that means is you have the Louis Vuitton monogram canvas on the outside, and it's one continuous piece of canvas on the outside, and then the interior of mine is actually done in a beautiful fuchsia colored leathered interior. So it's sewn together and then it's glazed on the outside to kind of um, keep the two pieces together, if that makes sense. Across at the very top, you have, it. it's a bar that's done in brass and you have a total of six key rings and these key rings are also done in brass and basically these are what your keys actually hang from. Now Louis Vuitton also makes other colored interiors for the six key holder. There is a rose ballerine color you can get, which is a really pretty light pink interior. Uh, they also had it in an orange color. I remember when I purchased it, I think it was called Mimosa, which was a very pretty bright yellow lemon color uh, that you could purchase also. Uh, being that I like more on the pink side, I decided to opt for the actual fuchsia colored interiors for this particular um, item. If colored interiors are not your thing and you want to just stick to kind of like the original prints, uh, they do have this particular item in the original monogram print. So that means there's no color interior whatsoever. Uh, you just have the lighter kind of medium shade brown interior. And then on the outside, you have the brass button. On the outside of this particular one, because it's in the mono fuchsia, mine is done in the fuchsia colored leather button as opposed to it being brass. So I would say definitely if you're interested in looking at the six key holder, it's really worth it. And one of the reasons why I feel like it's worth it and one of the things that I would say it has a pro to it is that it really will help protect your keys from the interior of your handbags. So a lot of us are into our handbags and we've spent a lot of money on our handbags, whether you get um, a higher end luxury brand like Louis Vuitton Chanel or maybe you're going kind of more contemporary or high street and you go with like a Rebecca Minkoff or you go with a Longchamp or whatever suits for your lifestyle. You want to actually try to prolong the life of your bags as much as possible because that's your hard earned working money that you're spending on these typical bags. One of the things that I quickly found out, especially when I was using some of my other bags uh, that I've had like over the last 10, 15 years, is that the interiors of my original bags would always get thrashed. Most importantly, they would get thrashed from the keys that I would put in my purse. It would be like a dark gray uh, residue that was left in my bags. The items would get scratched in the inside of my bags. And I just realized that the keys were really causing a lot of unnecessary damage with the interior of my handbags. Uh, so a couple of years ago, I decided to actually invest in this little item here, and I'm really glad that I did because I can honestly say that I've honestly gotten all my money's worth because it's an item that I reach for and I grab for every single day. I use it in the morning going to work. I use it going to the gym. You know, the list just goes on. Sometimes I'll actually use it when I don't even want to carry a purse with me and I just want to kind of take the bare essentials, which is usually like my driver's license and debit card. And one of the things that I love about this particular item is that when you open it up, it actually has a little slip pocket right here on the inside of the actual six key holder. And this little interior pocket, of course, it's done in leather as well. You can actually use it to store like your driver's license and maybe a debit card. And that is about it that I would put in there because I don't want it to stretch too much, but it makes it really convenient. Like when you just have to maybe run to the drugstore or a lot of times when I go to the gym, uh, really, I'll take this and I take my gym bag and that's it. And I already have my driver's license. I have my debit card in case I need to stop somewhere and go. 
I have everything already on me with this particular item right here. So I don't have to worry about carrying a handbag with me or carrying, let's say, a wallet, uh, especially when I'm going in and out of the gym. Another valid point that I wanted to make about this particular item is that on the top part of the brass right here where the rings are at, you will notice that you're able to actually take off and slide that bar across and actually remove the individual keys. So this is, makes it very nicely when you are trying to, let's say, uh, place your keys on there for the first time. You don't have to try to take your key and try to manipulate uh, this to particular holder to try to get it in your keys. You're able to take them off one by one and plug them on your keys and then just place them right back in the center uh, top part of this area right here. Now, the cons for this particular item. There are a couple of cons depending on how you look at it, depending on the actual print that you actually get. And I'm going to say a con for me is because since I decided to go with the mono fuchsia print, I noticed very easily that this particular item is going to show a little bit more wear and tear than if I would have gotten the original monogram print with the brown interior with the brass button. The first area that's going to show wear and tear at on this particular item is right here on the button. And the reason that I'm going to say it's going to show the most wear and tear here is because my button is actually done in a fuchsia color. So it's like a fuchsia color leathered uh, type button. So it does get prone to more wear. Um, if you drop your keys, let's say by accident you're dropping your keys as you're walking on the cement, uh, the leather little button can actually damage, it could tear it, and then ultimately you're going to have to probably get it replaced. Uh, if you get the original monogram print without the colored interior, they actually come with the brass buttons. And the reason I'm going to say I wish if I had to do it all over again, I would have gotten just the original monogram print because I would have preferred to have the brass button as opposed to having this little leather button because the problem with this one is that I've accidentally dropped my keys on the ground a couple of times and it literally just split like a whole tear right down the middle and then it gradually got worse probably because I'm opening and closing and I'm opening and I'm closing so there's more wear to that piece of leather. So that's one thing you may want to kind of think about if you're thinking about getting the six key holder in one of the colored interiors. Unfortunately, all of the colored interiors come with these little leather buttons as opposed to the brass. Another con is that sometimes with the lighter colored interiors, they're going to be more prone to showing wear and tear. Case in point, the Rose Ballerine. Uh, I think it's a gorgeous color. I think it's really, really pretty, especially against the brown. You know, it's something about pink and brown uh, complementing each other nicely. I think it looks really, really gorgeous on that particular print. The downside, if you do get one that has the Rose Ballerine interior, is that it's going to show a little bit more wear and tear, especially with your keys. Um, again, like I mentioned before, you know when you're using your keys and you're putting them inside of different locks, again, they could get that kind of oily residue uh, that keys typically get. So the lighter, the more lighter colored interiors you have, such as the Rose Ballerine or, the, you know, like a lighter colored interior, it's going to show wear and tear on the actual leather. And, you know, get, granted it's leather, so you will be able to wipe it down. You're still going to notice some staining to that particular interior just because it's a lighter color. Lastly, the last con of this particular item, and it's probably my biggest issue that I've had, um, so far I haven't had an issue with this one, is the glazing. And I know a lot of people, if you watch a lot of YouTube videos, um, if you go on the purse form, I know a lot of people that, that have had different types of glazing issues uh, in reference to their items that they're actually purchasing from Louis Vuitton. Case in point, I actually had um, a couple of major glazing issues with this particular item right here. Um, as I stated before, I purchased this item in January, I want to say it was the end of January 2014, and by August of 2014, I noticed that on the outer edge of the glazing area right in here, I noticed that there was some actual cracking going on with the glazing. I went back to Louis Vuitton sometime in early November. Immediately, she probably looked at it no more than, I would say, two to three minutes. So she felt it, she looked at it, immediately she went to the computer to see when I had purchased it, and she stated that 
it should go in for repair because she said if it gets any worse it's going to cause some cracking with the actual canvas area so obviously i didn't want that issue to happen um, i wanted to get the glazing fix uh, since it had been under a year since i had purchased it she said there was a possibility that i may not be charged for it but she didn't know for sure until the item you know basically would come back so since it was going out for repair i decided to go ahead and repair the button on the front because the leather button that's done in fuchsia because i had dropped it a couple of times on the ground it had basically split and started to crack so since they were fixing the glazing hey they may as well fix the button right so i went ahead and had them decide to have them actually fix the button about a month later i want to say it was early december uh, i got a call stating that my six key holder was ready to be picked up so at this point it had roughly been out for about four weeks so I went down to Louis Vuitton to actually pick up this particular item. And when I went in to pick up the particular item and to look at it, um, I noticed immediately that the glazing had been repaired. However, the leather button on the outside was not repaired. So when I inquired about that, because that was the whole purpose of also me bringing it in, was to have them fix both the glazing issue that I was having and also the leather button, they noticed that instead of fixing the outer button, they actually repaired the inside button that's actually done in, in basically the brass. So that's where it kind of latches it to close. So basically they repaired the wrong button. So the key holder had to go back out again for repair because obviously I wanted the button, you know, refix. Uh, they did tell me that the glazing issue that I was having that I wasn't going to be charged for it because it was under a year since I had actually purchased the item. So that was good news uh, to hear. Um, it was a little disappointing that it had to go back in for repair, but I get things happen, not a big deal. So January rolls around. I got a call about four weeks later, of course, after the crazy holiday season. And when I got the call, they were said my six key holder is ready to be picked up. I could come by and pick it up. So I went into Louis Vuitton to pick up my item. And when I went to pick up my item, everything was prepared like it should have been. The button was replaced. Basically, the six key holder, with the exception of the wear and tear, on the little brass area right here which is expected because it's metal rubbing against metal uh it looked essentially brand new uh i started using it probably the next day or the day after was when i started using it for my keys used it for a total of less than four weeks on valentine's day and it was exactly valentine's day of 2015 so actually no it was valentine's day of 2016 so a little over a year after i've had it um, I was out eating and when I went to, you know, go get into my car after leaving, you know, from dinner with some friends, I went to open up my key holder and immediately the outer glazing right here just popped up. And when it popped up, I looked at it, it was, it was probably about an inch basically removed from the actual canvas and leather piece. It literally, if you touched it, you could have done like string cheese with it and peeled it like all the way around the entire six key holder off. When I took it in repair, um, I explained to the lady, you know, or the, the sales associate what happened. And she said, well, we'll have to take it in for repair. So I explained to her, I said, well, this is the second time that it's getting repaired. I had just gotten the item back from, you know, basically repair in January. So when she went through uh, basically my history, she noticed that it was sent out for repair uh, twice, you know, one because of the glazing, two because of the button not being, you know, replaced. They replaced the wrong button. Uh, so at that point, because the issue was happening so close together from my first repair, uh, she decided to call over a manager to have them kind of already go ahead and look at this particular item. So when the manager basically came over, uh, she kind of looked at it. She kept saying that's so weird that that would happen, especially so close together that she said she's never you know, seen that so close together, especially from repair, you know, that's, we're talking a month, you know what I mean? From the time that it was repaired, from the time I'm basically having a glazing issue and it was worse than the cracking issue that I had the first time. So at that point, she just said she didn't feel comfortable with, you know, like sitting it back out for repair again. So she said at this point, you know, I'm just going to give you a new six key holder. And I was very fortunate to be able to get a new one. I feel like the manager was very, very, very accommodating. She kept looking at it. She couldn't figure out what exactly, you know, was causing that. She felt that maybe possibly that there was some sort of like cracking going on with the canvas. 
Uh, even though I took it in to be repaired, that's what she just felt uh, that was happening with it. So basically, if you have a glazing issue and you have a little bit of cracking that's barely starting out on the canvas, if you go to get it repaired, sometimes what she said that can happen is that it could cause it to basically come undone, if that makes sense. Again, so that's what she thinks maybe happened with mine. She wasn't really for sure. So I just want to put that out there for anybody. If you... You know, notice your items having any types of cracks or any types of unusual wear and tear. Immediately take it into Louis Vuitton and have one of the sales associates uh, take a look at it because it could be something that could be fixed and then, you know what I mean, you could be getting it back and using it or you may be in a predicament where it may cause more damage than you think and you leave out of there, you know, thinking, oh, it's not a big deal. They said it's not a big deal and then you're using it and then a few months later you have issues with the cracked canvas and of course, for those of you guys who know Louis Vuitton's policy, once you have any type of cracking in the canvas, then that's it. They can, they will not touch it. They will not repair it. You know, basically you're stuck with the item the way it is. So um, I always say immediately, always look at your items after use. I mean, these are items that are going to have wear and tear. They're not made to last forever and ever and ever, especially if it's an item that you're using every single day. But at the same token, you know, because you're spending so much money on handbags and these SLGs, you do want to try to prolong the life as much as possible that you can. So hopefully this video was helpful um, on this particular item. Do I recommend this item? Absolutely. I think it's one of the best items that you could purchase from Louis Vuitton. If I had to list any of like my top five SLGs uh, from Louis Vuitton, this one will always be number one, uh, mainly because one, it's an item that I actually use every day. It's not an item that's just I buy and I can't really find the use for it. It's an item that you will use every single day. Two, it's going to also protect the inside of your bags, whether you have a lighter colored interior inside of your handbag or you have a leather um, lined, you know, bag. Th this right here will protect um, your items from getting damaged or scratched up. And of course, lastly, if you're trying to really downsize and just carry the bare essentials with you, because the six key holders, uh, regardless of what print you actually go with, because they actually have the interior pocket where you can actually put a driver's license or debit card, you know, just I, your couple of cards, I wouldn't go, you know, more than two cards just because you don't want the leather to stretch out too much and then it's too loose, but it allows you to be able to basically be able to go compact. So definitely it's an item that I would recommend. It's definitely pretty much uh, pretty well made uh, because it's canvas. You don't have to worry about it scratching like as opposed to maybe if it was a leather one. And, you know, obviously since mine does have the leather button right here, I do have to maybe a little bit more than if I would have gotten one with the brass button. But uh, I, I will take the good with the bad because I wanted the color interior. So, of course, I have to you know, accept that I'm going to have the leather colored button on here. Um, one of the things I have realized that you can do if you do have this particular item or if you're thinking about getting it is sometimes what I will do is instead of actually touching the leather button a lot, what I will do is I will try to avoid touching the leather button and I just deal with mainly like the canvas. So I will open it up by placing my hand underneath the canvas area. And then when I get ready to close the keys as well, I'll just snap the canvas and it closes. Uh, so that is why I haven't had issues with the leather button on this one wearing because I've just, I don't touch it and I only deal with the canvas. I will say this though, even though I did have to get a complete replacement for my six key holder, um, I have not had any issues with the replacement since I've gotten it. I, I've had no issues at all with Louis Vuitton and like I said, I have a wonderful sales associate over at Louis Vuitton and the manager was so helpful with trying to explain why that item or why that issue was occurring with my particular um, item that I had purchased for them. So that concludes my video for today. Hopefully you found this information that I've shared with you guys very helpful uh, regarding some tips if you're looking at trying to purchase this item or the wear and tear of this particular item as well. So I hope you guys take care. You guys have a great rest of your week and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.